and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how we celebrated this little guy's birthday. He recently turned 13 and yeah, I want to share with you guys what we did for his special day. But before we get to the video, I just want to remind you guys that if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Just click subscribe and, and if you want to get notified if I have new videos, just click on the bell sign. Alright, now here's the video.
and there you have it i hope you guys like that video um, so i want to share with you guys some of the things that i believe god has taught me through truffles one of those things is patience so you know how every time you you have to go to work or you have to leave the house um your dog will just really wait for you like and my husband told me that every time I go out of the house, like go to work or go somewhere and he's left alone with truffles, he will always see truffles waiting for me, looking at the door. And that's how truffles is also with my husband. Like when when I'm here with him and we're alone together, like around afternoon time or around the time that he knows he should be home, he would just wait on the door waiting <laughs> waiting expectantly and um yeah that's how truffles is that's how dogs are they're, they're very patient you know they do their thing while waiting for you um and <laughs> they do their thing while waiting for you i i believe that truffles also goes around the house you know he goes to sleep but every time he wakes up from that from a short nap he would look at the door he would just wait he would just wait you know and i think that's patience the dog's patience you know it's really something another thing is you know thankfulness or gratitude um you, okay so the moment you come into your house right finally you get home from a work from a hard day's work and then truffles or your dog will just run to you so excitedly as if he hasn't seen you for a very very long time So, yeah, you know, like they're, they're very excited and they're so thankful that you're there. Even though you do that every day, like you go and then you go back. I mean, you go, you come back, you go, you come back. They're still as excited as they were when you just, when you first got them. And that's how, how we should be. Like after having something for a long time, sometimes you take it for granted. Like, you know whatever job you have right now if you've been to for been there for a long time you tend to just take it for granted or the people in your lives you take them for granted because you feel like they're just there forever and they've been there for a long time so you feel like oh they know how i feel about them they know that i love them but you know that's what truffles taught me we should say we should tell someone that we're thankful for them that we love them yeah, appreciate the small things. <laughs> Dogs are so appreciative. Like, yeah, appreciate the small things in life. Just like, you know how when you it's time for you to walk your dog, they're so happy, they're so thankful that you're doing that, even though it's like a routine that, that you have to do. They just you you would feel how thankful they are, even though they cannot talk. They say a lot with just how they are. Because when you have a, a grateful heart. Your perspective um, about life will really change. Like you'll see more of those blessings. You'll see more of what you have ra rather than the things that you don't have. So, in that video, you saw how Truffles is such a friendly dog. Like he would just go go up to a dog and just try to do all the dog stuff the dog um greetings to just let the dog know that he wants to play with them most of the time they don't i don't know i mean i feel like i didn't have this problem in the philippines but when we moved here um most of the dogs when they see truffles they just bark at him it's like they know he's a foreigner and they're being racist or something <laughs> i don't know but i don't know why it's like that so yeah it's a good thing the truffles is so friendly like sometimes he would approach a dog and they would either bark at him or you know just yeah like kind of attack him but he never fights back um yeah he doesn't discriminate he's he wants to be friends with all kinds of dogs like whether they're big whether they're small he is so friendly and yeah that's that's something that you know we should learn from dogs that they're very good with um people and with other dogs, right? They want to be friends with everyone. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> yeah, um, it, you saw in that video, right? Even if that dog would 
would bark at him or whatever he knows when to walk away he's just gonna walk away he's not gonna fight back and most of the time when someone tries to attack us we want to retaliate we want to you know it's like a battle <laughs> that we want to win but take it from truffles you know you learn when to walk away from problems i mean from people or from problems <laughs> yeah you should choose your battles right truffles so cute so last but not the least is unconditional love dogs just adore you they just love you i read something like if you lock up your husband or uh, your husband and your dog in the in the toilet the whole day you lock lock them up in the bathroom open the door at the end of the day and see who will be so excited to see you will it be your husband your husband will probably say why did you do that you know you're out of your bite or whatever but your dog when you open the door do you think your dog will walk away from you i don't think so your dog will just go to you so excitedly and just just you know would want to hug you and stuff like that that is unconditional love another thing is um sometimes i accidentally step on truffles he's always following me around when he's not sleeping or doing something else but yeah most of the time especially when i'm like when i keep on walking around the house um he would follow me and sometimes i wouldn't notice that he's behind me so i would step on his tail or his paw so like sometimes i would just see that oh like that like like he's crying i feel so bad but you know what he would do he would go to me like want to climb and like want to be held and he's like it's like he's saying sorry i mean how how can that be like i'm the one who hurt him yet he's the one who's like apologizing and stuff that's unconditional love they're just so actually even if you don't feed them just because you're their master they would they would just rely on you like give their life to loving you that's how dogs are and that's exactly what jesus did on the cross for us he gave his life for us because he loves us you know he he had to go through all of those painful excruciating stuff just for us to be saved and that's how unconditional love is all right that's Whoa. it for today's video i hope to see you guys on the next vlog god bless you all See you. Mm -hmm. See you to everyone.